We lead the bulletin with breaking news. Police Minister Stuart Nash is refusing to resign after admitting to calling the police commissioner and querying whether he would appeal a sentence handed down by a judge. Political editor Jenna Lynch joins us now. Jenna, how bad is this? About as bad as it gets. The separation between police and government is one that is such a sacred feature of our justice system. This morning, Stuart Nash went on morning radio and said, and I quote, I've seen a couple of judgments and actually one, I phoned up the police commissioner and said, surely you're going to appeal this. Now there are two rules which apply that he may have broken here. One is section 16 of the Policing Act, which says the commissioner is not responsible to and must act independently of any Minister of the Crown. The second is the Cabinet Manual. That is the rule book that Cabinet Ministers uh, have to adhere to. And that says, in black and white, Ministers do not comment on or involve themselves in the investigation of offences or the decision as to whether a person should be prosecuted or on what charge. Now, we have just spoken to Police Minister Stuart Nash a few moments ago. He is unrepentant, telling News Hub he has nothing to resign for. You've breached, yeah, the, the, you've breached the cabinet manual. What were you I'm, saying? I'm, I'm not the. Um, I wasn't the minister of police. I was what? chewing the fat with a, with a guy who was a mate uh, about a decision that I thought was very bad, in a circumstance that I had been involved in when I was a minister yes. of police buying back firearms, what? and I'm going to leave it at when, that. Now, Nash's excuse there simply does not stack up. These rules do not just apply to the Minister of Police. They apply to all ministers. So he would have been a minister at the time and therefore these rules applied to him. This is very much a developing story. We will bring you all of the updates as they happen on newshub.co.nz and tonight on News Hub Live at 6.